previously on Green Dream Project, we found a way to work around the intense daytime heat to complete the earth bag portion of our rainwater harvesting cistern. But we're not done yet. Next, we have to install a massive pond liner. Can the two of us even handle this? Or are we in over our heads on this one? Plus, we tried doggy ice cream. What about chicken ice cream? All this coming up on Green Dream Project. Welcome back to the Green Dream Project. Now, if you saw our last video, you know we finally completed our earth bag walls. Very exciting. This thing is now eight feet deep, but we have got to get ready. We have got to get this liner in place. Oh, I think this is gonna be challenging, but we'll find out. I think the first thing I gotta do is finally take down this compass. Uh, we don't need it anymore. We're done with the walls. I'm gonna unceremoniously toss this out of here. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. Now we just got this little guy left. Can I do a King Arthur and pull this out of the stone here? I'll probably backfill this hole a little bit. Probably don't want a big gaping hole in the middle of our cistern. And then I'm gonna seal all this up. Ooh, look at me, look at me, got my tape ready, cacao. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out is things like this. Now this is the area where I had a little boo-boo with that rebar, and I just kinda wanna patch it up. So I got a couple of tips from my buddy Bill over at the Upside of Downsizing. He said he used this tape over his greenhouse, and it's basically a fiberglass reinforced tape. I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna patch up some of these holes in these bags so we don't get any leaks. Of course, one of the biggest things I want to get sealed up here is the area by the tarps. Once the two tarps are together, uh, they won't shift, the tarps won't get out of place under here, and won't have any sand come back in from under the tarps and get under the liner. I'm also going to put a little tape over the plastic rings of the tarps so that that doesn't uh, irritate the liner. All right, all right, all right. Back out here by the sister, what? I got everything swept out over there. I'm gonna have to pull everything out. We're gonna try and get this liner into place. Now we're kind of waiting to the evening with the sun beating out down there and I'm trying to get that black liner in place. I figured it'd probably just be a furnace down there. So I just waited to the evening time and uh, hopefully that makes it all just a little bit better trying to maneuver that uh, liner. <laughs> that thing is thick and heavy. Let's see how this goes. Look who it is, ladies and gentlemen, the star of the show. You ready to do this? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. That's a really good point. Neither of us know what to expect. Well, I kind of have a little bit of experience moving a liner around. I kind of got to help on one of those Aquamate tanks, which was really cool. Uh, so I got to adjust the liner in there, and that was big and kind of unwieldy. This will be bigger and heavier than that one. So, and with that one, we had three people. Now we just got two people. <laughs> but you didn't have me. That right there is a very good point. We did, I love that confidence. I love that confidence, yeah. Oh. You got it. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. He's, he's like, he's like, why? You can't reach me anymore. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I get a scoot him out. Scoot him out. Alright, 
here it is. Time to cut this bad boy, you ready? Yeah! I think we're making some progress here. What do you think? Bye. So you can see it's the next day. We still haven't gotten this in place. Still so much to do. But Jessica's out here now, so she's the one with the plan. Brains over brawn on this, right? No, I think we should go with brawn. <laughs> Let's call Half Thor Bjornsson. We're calling Half Thor Bjornsson. Or uh, maybe we should call Full Thor Bjornsson. What do you um, think? We need a little bit more muscle than just the Half Thor. In case you didn't know, that's the actor from Game of Thrones. What was he, the mountain? Got some kind of world record on deadlifting. I think they just put a couple of cars on the end of those bars or something like that, and that's what he lifted. It was weird. What? Look at this. Who are these two? Pam and Brian, mid-life prices. My hair's a mess. <laughs> Jessica and I were wrestling with this thing, and I thought I had enough. We need to hire the big guns. This is the Be biggest good. gun I can find right here. <laughs> together, together we got that up pretty quick, eh? That went well. We just got underneath that thing, both of us, we just kind of lifted it up and uh, it's looking really good right now. It's more awkward than him. More tingly <laughs> than hot. I don't, I don't think I helped very much, but I, I tried. She was the spotter. Spotter, spotter. Yeah, I was the spotter. A big thanks to these two. I don't know if we could have done it without you. No problem. That's what we're here for. And then, and then it was that and it all was all over so quick. That yeah. went, that went. We got her done. I, I won't say too fast. It's good. It's good <laughs> just, that it went fast. Just fast but enough. You don't, want, you don't want too many difficulties. It could have been much worse. That went well. These guys are awesome. Thanks so much for your help. No problem. You're welcome. So again, many thanks to the prices for coming on out here and helping us get this liner in place. It looks absolutely fantastic. I don't even think I got any footage of them helping. Like they just got here. We just started pulling this liner out of the, out of the middle of the cistern. And before you know it, it was all done and in place. So it's looking pretty good. I think we still need to make, maybe make some adjustments on the north side of the cistern. That I gotta get the plug in. I think we're gonna give this a little bit of slack and hope I can find a pipe. When temperatures get up near 100 degrees like they've been, it's really important that I make sure the chickens are cool. They need plenty of shade, water, and sometimes other measures. Today I'm gonna try making homemade chicken ice cream. So I'm throwing together a few ingredients that I just have on hand. 
some frozen strawberries, an apple, some extra kombucha scoby, and some yogurt. So I just threw this all into a food processor to chop it up real well and combine it. And then I'll pop it in the freezer for about an hour, just enough to really chill it and firm it up a little bit. And let's see how the chickens like it. Woo, look at this. Man, this is crazy. This is what the inside of the cistern will look like. It's all wrinkly, but we want that slack in there. We want that slack in there. So I'm at one of the most nerve-wracking parts. At least I find it nerve-wracking. I'm gonna have to cut into the liner uh, for the plumbing. as I find the pipe again. Oop, got it. Got it. I'm gonna cut this thing smaller than I think I need because, I, well, I can always enlarge it, but you can't make us a hole smaller, right? So installing a bulkhead on like a regular cistern, the walls are flat and you can get to the surface, but here, the bulkhead's gonna go onto the pipe, but I have to tighten it from the other side of the liner. It's gonna be crazy. But I got my PVC stuff. I got a special liner adhesive. This is gonna be important as I slip on this self-made gasket. I think we're both gonna need to be down here at the same time. Jess is gonna come on the inside and work this. I'm gonna go actually in between the earth bag walls and the liner. And then we're gonna try to work it from both sides. Let's see how this works. Cross your fingers, everyone. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, so uh, you'll need to uh, first make sure like you can get the liner uh, over the PVC pipe. Man, I'm glad we're not doing this uh, in the middle of the day. I can just imagine baking back here if the sun were hitting on it. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nuts. Okay, there's little spiders back here. What if I can't open the can? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. I think all this is looking pretty good. I put a little bit more foam around that pipe. Give that pipe a little extra support when the water does come in here but I also picked up some of the shower pan liner and this was a little bit of advice given to me from Bill upside and downsizing again so he helped kind of helped out twice uh, with uh, some advice on this project so much appreciated I'm gonna use a little bit of this shower pan liner to seal the self-made gasket we made to the actual liner and we'll have like a double seal going along this uh, bulkhead. So it should be nice and tight. Ain't no water getting through there. Yeah! So I'm thinking things look really good down there right now. Uh, one last thing I wanna do is I wanna get some marine grade silicone caulk. It's definitely gotta be something for potable water use and that it can be underwater and it's not going to affect its condition. And uh, bead that right around the bulkhead as just that extra fine layer of protection. This liner is, it's not perfectly situated in there. And we got more off to the west side than we have on the east side. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of this off and rearrange it. And we'll wanna get this liner actually to cover the entire bags of the cistern and maybe even kind of come down on the ground a little bit. 
Well, we got things taped up. Now I know what you're thinking. One, this duct tape all over this liner looks disgusting. You're right. You're also right, it's not gonna last. This is just to hold things temporarily while we go on to the next phase. We are going to be building a gabion around the entire cistern. This will help to reinforce the sides of the tank above ground, but it'll also help to support the roof that we're gonna put over the entire thing. Very excited, I can't wait to start building another gabion around here. How long has it been since we built a gabion, right? Time to get started on another one. So again, a big thanks to our neighbors, Pam and Brian, for coming out here on such short notice to help out with the liner. That was such a big help. Also, a big thanks to, to Bill and Yvonne over at the Upside of Downsizing. Bill's always there if I ever have a question. He's got a lot of answers. The guy's got a lot of knowledge. You know, that's what I love about this community that's growing out here is there's always someone around to either lend a hand or some advice. You know, together we can help each other out. We can learn from each other. And you don't have to be going at it alone when you're out here doing this kind of thing. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate it. And check out our neighbor's channels. We'll leave links to their channels down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, everyone. We'll catch you on the next video. Gabby on! Ha <laughs> ha!